Well, hey, everybody. Uh, here's a fun little update. I've spent the last, um, I think, solid week working and trying to understand and develop immunity. And here is the magical virtual black hole. This is a Burning Man camp. And I want to give you a run through in VR. Um, I'm doing this recording after the fact. But you can start to see all the little little textures and things going on. This is my avatar character in there. And so I have a VR headset on. And what you can do is, yeah, of course you can pick up a cone. Uh, and in fact, you can even toss these cones uh, for cone tossing games. And it's pretty damn fun. <laughs> it's, as you can see, I'm, I'm excited in here. But if you wander around a little bit more, as you can see, um, my character is moving over to one of the Playa Tech benches, and you can sit in them and enjoy the fire. You can also hear the fire and hear the crackling and everything like that when you're close to the barrels. So that's kind of a cool extra thing. You notice our awesome fences are super duper well done and see-through, and that took a lot of time, but it was super worth it. But now if we kind of take a quick peek in the bar, we're going to hop over to the go box. The go box is like our little pickup credentials kind of area, which if you look inside, yeah, you can go sit in it if you really want to. But let's let's go away from there. Let's go back over to the bar and I let's grab a cone on the way because why not? And a little throw. Yeah the epic cone vertical. So when you go into the bar, um, I've added a new feature in here. Uh, I've added a whole pen set in here so you can pick up a pen and just kind of start drawing silly things. A uh, key thing to remember when you pick up these pens is the slower you move, the more consistent the lines are. Um, but the pens do work in 3D space, so it's pretty cool. So you can just do that and leave it there. You can clear the whole thing. You can pick different colors. As you can see, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that working. But if we wander in kind of the seating area over here, all the seating options are open. So you can sit in any of them and have a conversation with somebody. Uh, VR chat, spatial audio. So when you're near someone, you're going to hear their conversation. So sitting around, just like in the real thing, works. Uh, there's a little cone rack here. I'm just kind of looking at the lighting and some of the containers. This is the main bar. You can see our logo, which is awesome. And you have some other sound options. You got wind sounds, a couple different music options that I wrote, and cocktail bar, the traditional song of gate. And so that will play throughout the zone, and it's pretty darn funny. It will disappear as you walk away from the bar, but um, I'm working on bar objects. One of them is done already. Uh, I need to figure out how to put liquid in it. I haven't figured that out yet. But you can take the empty plastic container over to our recycling area, which doesn't have any signs in it yet. I'll get there eventually. It'll happen. But let's go upstairs. Let's go on top of the bar to enjoy the scenic view right looks just like how I remember it. You can sit up here, enjoy a dust storm, hear the wind, maybe hear a cocktail bar going in the background. It's pretty darn awesome. Um, but moving on from here, I'm trying to remember what I did in this video, which I don't, don't really remember. Uh, we're back in the bar. You can see that we have a disco ball. It does spin now, and we've got our whole DJ booth set up, which I'm still working on trying to figure out how to do a projected screen in there so you can have like a live cast of someone DJing. But if you click on the stanchion, you get a mirror so you can see your avatar and kind of dance in it, which is which is fun. It's a feature of the chat VR chat uh, itself, which is, I don't know, I think it's fun. But if we continue on and be back at the bar, you can pick up the ashtrays, you can pick up the skull. The skull's kind of fun because I really messed with the gravity on it, so it is really heavy and it'll spin in one place, which is kind of amusing. Uh, the bar is pretty decked out. Those objects aren't movable yet, 
they will probably be movable in a future version so we can actually have bartending action. Still working on that, it's gonna take some time. But you can go in the bar, you can look at all the stuff. I even got some cool holographic labels on some of them. Um, but standing at the bar, it feels like the real thing. Um, the video doesn't quite capture the perspective of you that you get, but it's neat. I put a little plaque up there so people who maybe visit this within the VR space know kind of some context as to what it is. And just kind of uh, my big heart for um, my gate family. Uh, it's super, super fun to do this. There's one of our trucks out here, and of course with the back of the truck, you can go sit in the back of the truck and have a conversation, because what would any gate party be without being able to sit in the back of a truck? It, You have to do it. It's just part of the ritual. So it's another fun conversation place. Also, you can visit the porta potty stack. There's a little secret in there. Uh, this magpie inside is an inside joke to us, uh, but if you find a little secret, you may, may make you laugh. Mm. Moving on from here, this is our training shade area. This is usually where we have like conversations and teachings and lessons and just places to get together. But you can sit in all these benches. You can listen to someone ramble on about something. It's pretty darn funny. Uh, all of them are seatable. It's about two people, two bench, but it's a fun little space to just kind of have a conversation, listen to the wind, pretend you're at gate at Burning Man and feel dorky about it. It's awesome. But going into the bar again, you're back at the DJ booth, which has all the accoutrements in there. I'm still, again, like I said earlier, working on how to do kind of that projected casting in there. But I'm going to flip on this mirror and wave bye to you all from the virtual world and from the real world. And uh, well, there'll be more updates soon, I hope. Thanks. Talk to you soon.